hey guys it's Naps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial and in this tutorial i want to show you how you can easily create you can easily edit and customize footer in wordpress using elementor and guess what i'll be showing you how to get this done literally for free so if you're using the free version of elementor i got you covered in this tutorial so right on my screen here is a website that i designed for tutorial purpose on this channel and if you want to see how you can design a pet website like this literally for free i have a video like that here on my channel so if you come down here so you can see the video here it says free pet website care website you can see exactly how i designed this website but if you scroll down you will see that this website doesn't have a footer so i just want to show you how you can add the footer section to your wordpress website just using elementor so right now we can come back to the back end of this website on the back end here let's come to our plugins and let's come to install plugins let me show you all the plugins are installed on this website currently so we have elementor installed astra pro was installed but not activated i can just delete this we have elemental header and footer installed and this plugin is very very essential if we want to have a static footer that would display on all pages of our website so if you come to this website right now you can see i have a uh, header here so if i go to all pages of the website uh, the header is constant so you can see that uh, so it's one thing for you to design a footer or a header is another thing for that footer and header to be static on all pages of your website and that's what you get when you pay for elementor pro and the next thing i have here is envato elements this plugin is also essential for us to get free template free footer templates that we can easily use envato element gives you lots of template website template header template footer template or any kind of element you need to really design your website and those are the three plugins that would be useful for this tutorial that I use to design forms on the website and these other two plugins are not active. Uh, so right now, in your case, I would just advise that you install Elementor and then search for Elementor Head and Footer by Brimforce. So you can just come to add new plugins here. Or come here to add new plugin. So you can just come here and search for Elementor Head and Footer and then you should be able to have that plugin. So you can see the plugin is here elemental head and footer by brainforce so this plugin has been installed and activated so you just want to click here to install and activate also elemental here has been installed and activated once this plugin is installed and activated i can come to my appearance here i will have another menu here for header elemental header and footer builder so we can launch this so here you can see that we have an active header here and that's the header that is displaying on this website so i just want to show you how to create a footer so for us to be able to create a footer we can just come here and come up here and hit add new button and we can just call this footer and then we can scroll down here we need to select the type of template we want to design here so we're going to say footer and you can see that you can also after footer you can also still create another uh static content before footer and that's quite very very good uh so this is footer here and then the next thing here is we want this to display on for the purpose of this example we will have this display on all pages but i like the functionality this plugin gives to this because you may just have this display on just your post or maybe a certain post or all your posts or maybe on four four pages or maybe on singular pages or archive pages or on the entire website just as you can see here i can just have this display on the entire website but i can just leave that all pages and then you can add some exclusion rule or have some display rule or do some other things to just streamline how you want this to display on your website and that's quite very fantastic but i'll leave this as is and then users uh, what users do you want to interact with this is it for logged in users or logged out users so this is quite very very good it means that you can create uh, a different filter for maybe logged in users or logged out users to give them something specific uh, if you have a membership website you will know how this is very very crucial and useful so i'll leave this for the purpose of this example and 
what I want to just do right now is to publish this first. Good, and then I can come back here and edit this with Elementor. All right, so we are inside of Elementor already, and that's quite very fantastic. So we can just easily come down here and manually build our footer by ourselves and just drag in however you want. But I'm not that kind of a person, I'm the kind of person that loves to build on something existing. I just like to make things very fast. So I love to you just use a template. And of course, if you notice here, you see that we have this green icon here. This is the Envato element I mentioned earlier. So if you over around it, you can see that Envato element is written on it. So we're going to use the Envato element to get free blocks for us to use. So you can see this is the free kit that I use from here to design the entire website. Isn't this amazing? We are not really interested in this kit. So we are going to come to free blocks here. And then we can just come to footer here. For us to just see elements around foot alone. So you can see you have different types of footer here you can easily use on your website. How super amazing is this? Beautiful, beautiful uh footer here. So I just would love to use this. Let's just experiment with this. So with the click of a button, we have a footer here ready thanks to Envato element. So we can then go ahead to customize this to suit our style so here right now company.ink uh, is a title um, i just want to maybe uh bring in an image there for my logo and then i can just change the text here and i can just customize anything i want to customize here if you're very familiar with elementor you know how this work uh, so here i can click this and then i can change the text here for me to put my text uh, maybe my address my phone number and just super simple super easy stuff here and there right this is beautiful and then i can just update this page that's it so let's come back to our website right now and let's refresh this and now let's scroll down and let's see if we have our footer so you can see beautiful 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 stuff how super cool and amazing is this so this is exactly how you can design a footer and you can see that this footer is site-wide it will be on all pages of my website let me come to service page again and let's see because i made this visible on all pages uh, so i scroll down i have this footer here too as well and i think this is cool so you can you can create this footer here with the click of a button you can set it to open on certain pages you can set different footer for maybe your own page and you can just use it however you want to use it and i think this is right and i think this is very very good so you can also go experiment with this on your WordPress website and then let me know your experience in the comment section. I'll look out for them. And that's my time for this tutorial. If you find it very useful, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more awesome videos like this. If you have any specific video you want me to make, you can let me know also in the comment section. I'll look out for them and I'll see you in that video. And until then, stay safe.